Yeah, thanks, Shubs. Uh, congratulations to the club, Mama Lodi Sundowns. Congratulations to the technical team, everybody involved. We worked very, very hard in this game, so I think a well deserved victory. And uh, congratulations to the players. Um, good effort, difficult game. But we gave we gave it our all, knowing that we've got time to, to breathe a bit. Congratulations to Mary's Big. I thought they were worthy opponents. Uh, well, well coached, very aggressive on their standard situations. So, congratulations to to them for making it a very good match. <coughs> Coach, uh, sure, no, we did note that uh, Parrots were more medium pacer than they were tired as well. Yeah. Um, but was there an element of you guys underperforming? One. And then, uh, then we posted out obviously two goals today. Um, you mentioned that you were integrating in, not just from a tactical perspective, but just being part of the group. Um, do you see a quick progression of, 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 of that process? Yeah, he has to do more. He still has to do more. All of them has, have to do more. I asked for more at half time. Uh, and you can tell by the huskiness of my voice. You know. So, uh, it was not a. Uh, uh, but I don't think. I don't think so. I think we played well. You know, I, I really do. Even in the, in the first 18 minutes before that, the weather conditions, I thought we were playing well. But. but no incision, you know, not hurting the opponents. Good possession, good control, no chances for the opponents except one or two balls over the top from a, one from a, a free kick that was put over by uh, Slaula. Uh, and, and especially looking for Kamatuka. Uh, but apart from that, I thought we were, we were good, you know, but, but still not good enough. So after when we had a bit of a break, I asked for more, and I think the intensity increased towards half time. And then at half time, I asked for more from that, not lower, you know. And I thought the second half was a bit more brave. Uh, we took more risks. We we made more box entries. We we tried more, you know. So I'm happy with the performance, and to be honest, very happy that uh, uh, we are in the next round. And I think that's all that matters in cup competitions, to be honest. Thanks, Roberto. Okay. Thanks, Rubes. Uh, I mean, Coach Charles, <coughs> um, you, you mentioned that skills of the voice now. Usually, these and dance in the second half come in the past few games. You come out looking at like a different team, and after the, the measure spot, I expected to see something different. It wasn't it? Wasn't to be, and then in the second half also, uh, I thought to see Esquivel like they grew into the game, but they made it later. Um, <laughs> You also mentioned Zungu's box entries last week. Uh, I, I think you, you averaged zero minutes on the bench today because you were up the entire game. Uh, do you think today's game required a lot more figuring out? Yeah. I had to help. Yeah, today I had to help. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm grateful that they allowed me to be part of them, you know, because the moment my words have no meaning. Uh, then it's 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 chai, yeah. <laughs> uh, so at least still my words have meaning. I asked for my soldiers at half time, and I think they gave me that. Um, and we have to be patient, guys. You know, sometimes uh, you know society is so impatient. We have to be patient, guys. You know, uh, you have to be patient with Obas. You have to be patient with Esquivel. You have to be patient with uh, even with Lodge. We're patient. He's still not at his best. It's, and that's just my opinion, you know, I think he can do more. And, but I'm happy, I saw, I, I, gradually I see improvements. I see improvements with Peter, even today I saw, I saw much livelier Peter, you know, a little bit more confident and say, even if I don't score, there are certain things I've got to do for the team. And uh, I was happy, Musa I thought was very, very good for 90 minutes. I'm happy for Dennis, uh, it was good clean sheet. Uh, Divine was better second half, first half a little bit too late, but no aggression, no intense level, first half a little bit too, very happy with the second half reaction. 
Sipo, I thought, started also again laboured in a, a bit better, you know, after we scored one, we got better. And, and I'm happy for Kutano also. And I'm happy that we were brave enough at 0-0 to put him in, you know, and for a big team like that now. So, and he came on and he made a big difference. So, but we still have to be patient, 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 patient. I asked for it last season with so many cashiers and, uh, and eventually it paid off. So much. a bit of patience, guys. Let's help these players to improve, this team to improve. And we will get better, we will improve. Uh, the good thing is that uh, even while we are improving, we are still winning. And that's the most important thing in football because that's what gives confidence to the team to grow, you know. So congratulations to the team and everybody at the club, the management, the players, the, the, the technical team, Coach Manoa, Coach Wendell, Coach uh, Michael, who was good to have him back, he was at the coaching course. So he's back now and it was good. Coach Temba is doing some very good work with the, the remaining group. That's why you see Rivaldo doing so well when it comes to Sela. They've been training with him a lot. So, so congratulations to him and the conditioning coaches, Matthias, Smo, the analysts. They did a, a lot of work. They, so uh, proud, proud of everybody's contribution and congratulations. Um, coach. Yes, sir. Really, um, final players there. Is it uh, you guys at the club trying to collaborate better with the national team and to try and help them with the logistics? Because I think you could have had them here, but uh, they are there. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. But let's see that question. I, it, it, uh, yeah. They need, they don't. <laughs> we, Ronza is struggling with the shoulder. Uh, and we've got a very difficult uh, Champions League game. Debs is struggling with the knee, and he's had it since Afcon. Ronaldo's had the shoulder since Afcon, <clears throat> and only now we've got Toby back and uh, Sailor back. But we still have problems with Maseko, who got an injury also in Afcon. So we're trying to 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 work for Sundowns and try to protect our players as much as we possibly can. So a rest so that they could, yeah, so that they could uh, minus the load. You know, minus 190 minutes helps, you know, in the schedule and in the freshness for the Champions League. So, but it's not easy because uh, at the same time, you you have to win games. So you, you, you can't say to people, you didn't have Diva, you didn't have uh, Ronza, you didn't have uh, Tebza. I mean, we all know how important these players are for us. You know, we didn't have Lucas today. Uh, so, but good, okay, uh, everyone is, 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 is fighting and trying to contribute to the story that we are trying to write this season. So, very proud of them and uh, we just have to stay humble, uh, stay humble, uh, keep focused and, and try to win more games. So, just a where are they? Are they with the national team or they've been arrested or was, was they stopped? They were arrested. They were arrested because they've got niggling injuries, to be honest, and that's, that's really the truth. Are their injuries strong enough to keep them away from, from Bafana? I don't know, because I, 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 I think as a club we've always supported the national team agenda. Always, always, always. And we will continue to do that. Uh, but if, if we can, you know, rest a bit in Shishi, even though he's, he's suspended for, for uh, Tanzania. Shishi is he's suspended with bookings, so he's not going to be available for the first leg. But she is very important for us. Um, and when I said we will not find another Shish, that's what I was saying. We, we, no one's irreplaceable. But we, you won't, it's not fair to look for another Shish. It's not fair for Shish. It's not fair for that player to, for the loss of uh, power by Robert Green, never, never fill a big man's shoes. And it's not fair for whoever will come from from developed and through or found and for them to say film it's not possible. But um, of course, no one is irreplaceable in, in, in football and in life in general. I'm not I'm not irreplaceable also at some house, you know. So um, it should never be taken out of context. But uh, he's important for us nonetheless. Uh, good evening, Coach. Good evening, Mr. Pasha. Okay. 
can you just please help me through two players, just focus on them extensively. Yeah. First and foremost, uh, Lodge. Is this yeah. the Yoso that you, you wanted? Is this the Yoso that is getting to a point where you want him to be firstly? And secondly, with uh, with uh, Shailile, he hasn't scored for a couple of matches now. Yeah. What, what, what do you do with him? What do you do? Do you sit with him in your office on a Monday morning, show him the good things that he used to do? How do you motivate him to become the player that he was? What, what do you say with him? Because it might be maybe mental, I don't know. Yeah, we the, that's under process. That's underway already. There's a lot of things we are doing. I'm being supported by the analysts also. Uh, but I'm also having meeting. Excuse me, I'm having meetings with him, and, and and the rest of the group is also supporting him, and that's very important. You know, he's got to feel that in in the bad moments the group has him, uh, because in the good moments the group celebrates with him. And uh, today is Peter, tomorrow is someone else. Uh, we have to be there for each other. It's, that's what a family does. And, and, and the team knows there's more important things in, in life than football. A brotherhood, honesty, togetherness, support, you know, loyalty. And those things are very important. And, and in the difficult moments, that's when you're going to show those things. But I was happy with his, his body language today. You know? And that's one of the things I've been speaking to about his body language. You know? He's, uh, he's showing everybody, ah, he's tough, he's tough. He's, the universe doesn't have time for pity parties. Nobody cares. So he's just got to knuckle in and know he's got the support of his family. And that's what uh, we are privileged to have here. He's a very good family. Um, Lodge, am I happy? No. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm quietly content. And he knows, uh, I want more. Uh, and that's from everybody. I want more from Castron. I want more from Esquipal. I want more from Bohani I want more from Kebza. I want more from Marcelo. I want, I want more. I'm always that guy. I want more from myself. You know, I hold myself to very, very high standards. And, and uh, I demand a lot from myself. And, and therefore, I demand a lot from the players too. So, uh, but I, I love them probably even more than I love them before kickoff. And uh, a very special group, as I always say to you guys. And uh, oh, so I understand that I'm very privileged to be their coach. Uh, good evening, coach. Good evening, sir. Sia Sama from the Sunday World. Shows here. Um, coach, how important is it that the group of players that are in today's match day squad yeah. get used to playing? Um, without the leadership of Shishi, uh, Ranza, um, because from where I'm sitting, um, they don't take um, the way Santos doesn't play or take the way they are supposed to. You know, when, when Shishi and the likes are not there. So, how important is it that this group of players get used to um, them not being uh, with, with them all the time? It's good. It's very good. It's a top question, that. Uh, and I'm glad you asked it because uh, if I say it, they are ah, making excuses. But it's, it's important. Uh, the, the team has to keep growing and, and not depend on one individual. And the only way that develops is when you play different people at different times. Um, and even though we are struggling a little bit at this moment also with... Uh, with uh, some players out with the flu, some players, a uh, couple of niggling injuries, some players in the Ramadan, you know, like Tesh for an example, uh, Peter, uh, Abdel, and so But we'll get better. Uh, we're still working, 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 working. Let's see, it's uh, on, on course, uh, quarterfinals, that's where we were last season. Uh, ahead on the log, 11 points, 13 points, what is it, I don't know, but still it is that. Uh, so on course, more points get, more games won, uh, less goals conceded. So we are on course there. Uh, MTN8 final, unfortunately, we lost on penalties. Uh, better than last season already, because we lost in the, in the semi-final, and so we lost in the final this time. We won the AF AFL, so we already have a trophy, better than at this point last season. Uh, we are in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, finished on top of our group in a very difficult group. So uh, 
very, very much on course to reach all our objectives. And we, we just have to, as I said to you, stay humble, stay focused, and not listen to too much of the noise. And that involves myself too. And knuckle down and work very, very hard and just continue to win games. This is the most important thing. You will close it? Yes, sir. Your voice is huskier than mine. <laughs> You know, the question is from Africa Coach. You mentioned the young Kufan coming yeah. on to make his debut. You trusted him to do exactly that at 0 0. How important is it for the club as well as for the youngsters in the TDC team to see that when you are good enough and deserving, there is a pathway to the first team despite all of the blockbuster signings, if I may call it that, that the team are being known to make at the moment? Yeah, uh, players like Kutwano, you've got to first, there's, there's, uh, there's three responses. The first is the recruitment, then that's headed by Fleming Berg, the sporting director, Ryan Hunt. Uh, there's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes, even from a guy like uh, Trump Moloto. So on the recruitment, they've got to be given a lot of praise because they're recruiting some of the best young players. and. So, so they've got to be given a lot of credit. And then the coaching staff that works with them, Coach, Coach Temba, as I said, uh, Coach David Matwane, the rest of the technical team with the TDC, Coach Pupu, Coach uh, Mike Manzini, incredible people working very, very hard in that space. So they also have to be given a lot of credit. Uh, and, then, and then the first team players, you know, for their humility and welcoming these youngsters into that space and guiding them um, it's funny, I'll tell you, uh, this is, uh, is uh, I said to Kutwano today, just before the pre-match meeting, I said, he walked in with Peter, I said, are you sharing a room with Peter? He said, yeah, I didn't even know, to be honest, I didn't know. And uh, I said, what's your take? He said, what a good human being. I said, what, what, why do you say that? You know what he said? He said, because he taught me how to pray. Imagine, so. So that's why I've got to thank the first team players for being so good to the kids, you know, guiding them, mentoring them, helping them to be good human beings. And uh, so, yeah, they are in the right space. They've got the right people around them, and hopefully they can get better and better and better. We'll take the last two questions. Could you still on the issue of praying? You pray. Uh, uh, I mean, I know it's nothing new, but. How are we navigating yeah. around the uh, issue of Ramadan and those uh, things really quite uh, It's very tough. It's very tough, uh, but but fortunately, even the technical team, we've got people that are are also of uh, the religion. So uh, Gulam is helping a bit with uh, supporting the, the, the players. Uh, Khalid is supporting the players, so so they've got enough support. Unfortunately, it's not something that's it's entirely on my shoulders. And it's also something that uh, the club respects and, 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 and gives a lot of uh, attention towards because they've got to eat at a different time, so the meals have to be provided, they've got to eat halal food, so the club has to go a little bit more extensively investing in that type of nutrition. And, uh, but yeah, as I said, at least it's, a, it's not something that sits directly on my, on my plate every single day. Well, Oh, 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 Maskebe. He's been quiet. I think they're scouting coach. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you, sir. Yeah. So now your next round. So do you think now your focus is to win every tournament ahead? No, I can't. I I'm I'm in such a difficult position because I can only think about the next game. I I I struggle to even think long term. I really do struggle. So now that this one's over, we have to focus on the next one and. Um, Today is just analysis tonight. They have to come in tomorrow. Uh, we'll do a bit of a review. And I've got games piled up for them because we haven't had time to, to do corrections of uh, even cheaper. 
uh, I haven't had time to do corrections of super sport with them to sit. Um, so there's a lot of work to be done during the FIFA break. You know, so, but yeah, good. Uh, step by step, game at a time. We need everybody, and I'm glad that they are coming slowly. So it was uh, Kulis was on the bench. I was happy for him. And so Toby was on the bench, happy for him. Uh, it's a good welcome back, and uh, we go again. Thank you, thank you, sir. You, when are you traveling back? Sorry, my son. No, I mean, basketball. Uh, uh, my son is always <laughs> moving. <laughs> my son is always. You must. You must do my son in the back. Yeah, right. My son is always moving, well, moving cameras yeah. and doing things. Yeah, I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> when are you leaving uh, to fly back? When are you leaving to fly back? Thursday, next week. Yeah, week. Safe travels, enjoy the country. Yeah, thank, you, thank you. And if you need anything, Shoops is here and will support you in whichever way we can. Uh, thank you, Skepa. Sorry about no, that. Problem, no problem. Last season, I think when, when the team lost to Stellan I think it was away. Yeah, in Cape Town. It was yeah, but 2 1. Yeah, even when we spoke to you, to you after that, you had mentioned just how important the team had wanted to win this trophy. Sure. And, and given you know, just how long it takes and how, I mean, when you've got a team like Marisbeck coming here and giving you such a, a tough game and other players that I've spoken to talking about how they want more. Sure. And you said you demand more from yourself. When you look at this trophy coach, not how bad, but adding it to what you already have, how, how does it change, say, the complexity of the season because you've been doing well in the league. And then you've always spoken highly of you know, other coaches. When you played against Lamassi, you spoke about uh, and then mm -hmm. today you've got coach uh, Dan Lala, who you know I think had set up quite well, yeah. especially first time. Yeah. So even when you scored first. Yeah. I said it's hard fought. Yeah. How how do you view this, you know, the, the young I'd say young coaches yeah. because yeah. How do you view guys like like Coach Simo? Not too many flowers given yeah, to them, but yeah. you can see them. Yeah, it's uh, it's tough. It's tough not only just to be a young coach, but I and I know, uh, but it's also tough to be a local South African coach because we just don't seem to be patient enough with with with, with us, you know. And we would always. It looks, and I get this feeling every day. But it's okay because for me, I, I think I've 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 settled to it, and it helps me to be better. That we've got to prove ourselves. You know, every single match we are under audition. You know, we've got to prove ourselves every, and it's the same. I'm sure for Coach Dane, it was the same for Coach Fadlo, it was the same for Coach Arthurswane, it's the same for Kevin Johnson, it's the same. It was the same for Coach Pizzo, I was his assistant. And every day he was under pressure to win and win and win and win. And that's normal, you know, but um, uh, Coach Simo is doing very good work. I was privileged enough that I got five games, their last five. Milford, Pal, uh, I watched their game also against La Masia in Maritzburg. So, uh, their game against Orbit, a good game. Uh, their game against Keswick, those were the five games I watched. And and I liked their team. I think they've got some good players. Tole, good. Uh, I was surprised to see Tolo start on the bench, good player. Of course, he started on the bench because these players have been so reliable for them. Uh, Slabula and Nana, the two centre backs, so aggressive, so commanding in the air, good in the jewels. <clears throat> they have Shawane who they brought in in the second half to play a bit more uh, half libero, half centre midfield sort of role to, to reinforce the midfield at the centre of the pitch, which they overloaded quite a lot. And uh, Patrick uh, in the midfield, uh, 67, good. Uh, Kumalo, um, Zuma who didn't start, good player also. Uh, I liked, I liked how I saw their team, you know, long throws, uh, and they played to their strengths, and you could see the detail from a coaching perspective. But, but I thought we fought well uh, to play these games. I said even before, these games are hard. These games are very, very hard because, because they've, they've got nothing to lose, and you've got all the pressure. 
So congratulations to this team once again of uh, Mamelodi Sundowns. Very proud of their efforts today and, um, and top performance. Very very happy with the performance. You know the first question. Uh, just refresh please. So the the the, the Nightman Cup. Oh. Uh, how does it? How will it change winning it? Because you've been doing well in the league. It's expected. I would say. That's the problem. Everything is expected. Even when you do good, it's expected. We don't congratulate the pet, you know. That's the biggest problem. But, okay, I don't think it changes anything, to be honest with you. I think people people will will, will celebrate, uh, but will say, ah, Sundowns. And that's, uh, unfortunately, Sundowns is the only team that can lose trophies. The others win trophies. Sundowns loses trophies. And that's the truth. But that's the space we have to be in, and uh, uh, it comes with the territory of being Mamelodi Sundowns and being a big team. You know, you 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 lose things, you don't gain and win things. Thank you, coach. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Travel safe.